Hello everyone, we are in our new unit. We're on unit five. Um, unit five is global climate. Today we'll be doing part one notes. We'll be learning about EEN 26.1, compare weather and climate. We also will learn about the major climate categories as the Köppen climate classification system, which is identified by temperate, tropical, and polar. So what is the difference between weather and climate? There is a difference. So weather, please note this, okay? Short term condition of the atmosphere. Okay, short term condition of the atmosphere. This could be days, it could be weeks. This is read by meteorologists. So now, What's the difference of weather and climate now? Long term, 30 year average. Okay, so today we can say it's going to rain, right? Because we see the clouds by the daily weather. But the climate is going to be of our extreme weather conditions that happen all the time. So we have different levels in different areas. Like we do know overseas it snows or it's really hot like in Pakistan or I, Iraq. But over here, we have days, it's bipolar weather where it just rains all the time and that's because our climate. This is not by meteorologists, it's by climatologists. Climate zones are largely determined by two factors, okay? So two factors, climate zones. First one is temperature. So the latitude, so our location, the altitude of how high we are, if we're by the land or if we're by the water, ocean currents, or if we're by the mountains. So if you go to Florida, you always obviously by water, so it rains all the time, right? So you can also know that the climate there is going to be, um, it's closer to the equator, it's, more rainy, um, so that's how we determine our climates. So precipitation, y'all should know what precipitation is. Um, but this also has to do with the air pressure, air mass influences, as well as prevailing winds. So this look at this, this is the animation, kind of shows you if you're gonna have less here, if you don't know what it shows you like on the, the news, um, when you over here, this doesn't mean you're gonna get a lot of rain or precipitation. Um, this means you get a lot. If you look in here at the map, here is the United States. We're kind of in the green, so we kind of get a little small average. But if you go again here in the middle, they get, they get a lot of rain, especially here in like Africa, um, there you have a rainy season. So this is basically how we would know. And this is going off, look at the, how the calendar is moving. So it kind of lets you know pretty much for the whole year. Now this is the average daily uh, solar radiation. So about the heat, we know it's hot overseas, right? You can see it here. It, it definitely gets very humid over there, especially in Africa area. We don't get that that much over here. We get a little bit. That's why some days we have humidity levels. Um, but you got to look at where it hits at. This is where you find a lot of the Sahara deserts and you find all the jungles, you know, if you go over there. Those things kind of can dry out. So, climographs. So, climographs. Obviously, it's a type of graph, right? And this graph is obviously going to talk about What's that key word there? Climate. So using data from temperature, okay, and rainfall, we use climographs. So what they do is, as you see here, there's rain, as what it said here, and it says temperature. The temperature here is in Celsius. Um, so what we do is average monthly temperature on one side, um, and then the average monthly precipitation on the other side, okay? So the lines are temperatures, as you see. 
and the bars are going to be your average monthly. And if you don't know what this is here, this is your months. So, kilomographs. What I want you to do is look at here. Look at these two graphs. I want you to see the difference in between these two. And again, what do you know about weather versus climate, right? So again, you see how the bars are? Which again alleviates to the rain. And then the temperature is by lines. So this temperature seems to fluctuate, right? But the level of rain does not seem to get a difference. It's kind of still around the same. Now this one right here, the temperature is definitely around the same. Never really changes. But look at the levels of rain. There is a big drop off in a particular season. Both of them have a drop off here. But this one shows a stronger impact. Now by looking at this, which area of the world could you think this is from? So areas that have similar temperature and rainfall will share in a similar climate zone. So if we have same temperature and same rainfall, similar climate zone. The Köppen climate classification system. This is the most widely used for classifying the world's climate, okay? So remember, anything that I highlight or anything um, that I say with a little difference and a little more impactful, please know those things can be used on your next assessment or test. So the Köppen is divided the Earth's surface into climate regions that generally coincide with the world patterns of vegetations and soils. So it's divided into the surface, but again, please note that this is the most widely used for classifying world's climate. It recognizes five major climate types. How many? Five. Okay. Based on the annual so annual is basically a yearly and monthly okay averages of temperature and precipitation right so remember these still going back to the climograph it had the rainfall and temperature so each one is designated by a capital letter a b c d e we have three basic climate groups we have group one which is tropical low latitude climates okay group two temperate which has mid latitude climates group three is polar has high latitude climates so let's talk about group one tropical um do we live in the tropics no we do not tropical is basically has a lot of rain for us as you see um that is here, which is the dark green on the maps. Um, wet, dry tropicals is more your, like your savannas, okay? And then the dry tropical climate, which is desert, okay? So that's the, the like, yellow looking one. And if you notice here, Africa has a lot of desert, right? South America has deserts, but there is a big portion that there is a rainforest, right? We have the... The rainforest is down there. And if you notice right here in the middle, we have a lot of rainforest there. You look here, you can see where the deserts are. So the savannas. Now again, this will go back to what we saw with the animation where the rainfall takes place. The humidity as well. So just a little bit more about the tropical moist climates of the rainforest. We know the average temperature is warm. I ain't never heard anyone say Africa was cold or anybody over there, right? Any precipitation is high rainfall all year long. I cannot imagine. And you get over multiple inches of rain a month. Uh, straddles the equator by 5 or 10 degrees. So if you're by the equator, obviously you're going to be pretty what? Warm. Um, 
But again, I couldn't imagine living somewhere that's going to rain all the time. I really don't like rain. So here's an example. Here's Singapore. So look at this chart. As you notice, the temperature was fairly the same. The rainfall is pretty much the same. Now, I want you to look at this because you're going to have to learn how to read these. Um, also at the end of this uh, presentation, but also on the next test. All right, the Savannah. Um, I love to see this area. Um, definitely warm. It's annual precipitation, much less only in rainy seasons. And as I mentioned to you, um, they do have rainy seasons, especially in Kenya. Kenya, um, one of their rainy seasons is here. And it'll rain all, basically, all summer long is their rainy season. Um, as you see here, by looking, the temperature does change. It gets really hot, though, during the rainy season, and it's pretty cool. This is like their winter, um, which is about similar to us, uh, the January, February, March, April. Um, but once you get there, it's still hot, though. It's still lower, and it's not like 30 degrees. Um, you may be still walking around for that winter, like 70 degrees or whatnot. Um, again, annual precipitation is less. It's just one big season of rain. Just one big old season of rain. So dry climates, right? So the dry climates, about one third of the Earth's most. Um, as you see here, Mexico and all uh, these areas hitting near um, New Mexico, part of Texas here. Um, those have for the United States is a, a dry climate, you know, definitely an area. The upper part here of Africa definitely has some as well. But if you look here, this is where we spend most of our time fighting for war, the military people. It's definitely dry over there, as you, as you can see here compared to the map. Um, so deserts, they can get up to this a day definitely can get hotter but this is the average hot at low latitudes um wide variation at higher sources they get less than 10 inches of rain a year less than 10 inches that's why you don't see big old green plants or anything in the desert because they would not be able to live um basically unreliable wide variation intense convective uh downpours uh, desert causation is basically high pressure cells, rain shadows, latitude is zero through 50 degrees north. So now look at here, look at this map. You see how during the months we don't have no rainfall at all, but there is an area that the temperatures do drop at least to almost around 50. And that would be around your June, July, August, but then it can get again back up to the highest. And this is in Australia, okay? So look at how dry it looks there. Group two, mid-latitude climate. So dry mid-latitude, which is gonna be your uh, steeps or grasslands, Mediterranean climates, which is gonna be your um, Shapiro biome. Um, wet mid-latitude climates is deciduous forest, which is... So, as you're looking here, annual for this is the grassland. So we're gonna go to Mali. Um, here, part of Africa, as you see, is where Mali at. So annual precipitation is more precipitation than the desert. Um, as it says, it surrounds the desert. So we did know we did look at a picture here of seeing this is where it's at. I just circled it. The temperatures fluctuate. Um, but it still stays around. Everything is, look over here, almost 80 degrees, but it can get higher. But look here at the rainfall. The, again, just as I told you in Africa, they have a big rainfall in the summer. It's all right here. And then the temperatures, um, they fluctuate in Mali. So this is an example of what we just stated. All right. Group two, temperate climate. So temperate, um, just look at different areas here to show you the 
humid subtropical, the Mediterranean, and the Marine West Coast. So we have some different areas that are highlighted. We have us there because North Carolina will be about right here. Um, here is middle temperatures, true seasons, subdivisions based on precipitation variation, humid subtropical marine west coast. Um, so here is marine west coast. This is going to be in uh, Washington. That is a very pretty site. And then this is in Florida. So they do have different subtropical forests in marine west coast, temperate rainforest here in the United States. Now we're going to go to South Africa and right here, um, looking at the chart again, as you notice that boom, the temperature does decrease, but the rainfall increases when the temperature decreases. And again, this is about your summertime. So average temperature is about 70 degrees. Um, it's usually very dry. Um, and your precipitation says here is, is dry um, uh, inside the summer. But as you, again, you see here, um, different levels that will may occur. Uh, here we have the latitude, 30 degrees south, including the Mediterranean. So here, humid subtropical, mid-latitude forest, the deciduous, deciduous forest. This is again where we stay at. We have these four types of seasons, right? Um, true seasons and we do have hot summers some days we do have cold spills and right now we're at the end of April and we're waking up still with 20 degrees 40 degrees um, and your precipitation summer max precipitation but consistent all year so we pretty much have rain all year okay but uh, we can have a lot during the summer and then the last group, high latitude climate, so subarctic climates, the Zetega, polar climate is the tundra, ice caps. So here we're talking about the colder, we're talking about the poles, okay? So subarctic climates, if you notice here, this is in Canada. If you see here, look at this temperature. They don't get that high in temperature. Okay, I couldn't live in nothing like that. But look here for the rain levels. Again, around their summer. Temperatures long, brutally cold winters. I just could not do that. Precipitation, not as much as humid subtropical. But they do have some areas here. Um, you may have this or you may have this. Polar climates, all months, less than 50 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, not me. You can stay there if you like. All right, so the tundra, the warmest months, um, is going to go up to 50 degrees. As you see, they got some nice looking animals and look at all those ice everywhere. And so ice caps, uh, warmest month is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, both have very low precipitation. Highland climates. So how are these like the poles? And pretty much how are they different? Obviously, it's got to be kind of cold. Look what he got on. They get the snow. So how are these like the poles and how are they different? Well, they have lower temperatures. So obviously, that's definitely like the poles. More moisture available. Um, that's a little different because the other one doesn't have like letter. I mean, it could possibly be around the same here. More insulation, high winds in both. So now this is where I told you to kind of read it from what we talked about earlier. So here, if you look at the temperatures, they rise in the summer, but the rain never really kind of happens. Do you know what this is at? I don't want to give you the answer. I want you to be able to go back through this video and figure out what type of location would that be. Around here, right? So here, uh, temperature basically stays the same. Rainfall, I mean, 
it has its up and downs. So where do you think this is at? Don't worry, I'll wait. Around Peru area. Not saying that you would know that, obviously, the direct location, but just giving you an idea. Where in the world is this? Temperature and rain is always high. Just rain, rain, rain. And temperature staying at the same spot. Hawaii. When have you ever seen Hawaii? Like, honestly, just bad weather. So where would this kind of be at? And again, you're not going to know probably the direct location, but you should at least know some of the areas we talked about, like the tundras and um, the city is forest and everything as well. So by looking at here, temperatures rise. Rainfall stays around the same. This is about New York. And again, it's not just precipitation. Uh, precipitation is just not rain, though. Remember, it is can be snow, sleet, anything that falls from the sky. So where in the world would this be? Here, there is nothing over the summer. Temperature, you know, it's not too too much of a difference. It's about California, right? California temperature pretty much stays there. They ha they summers is very dry. They don't have that much rain um, during those times. <laughs>